peace peace family so i'm back with another one so today what i wanted to do was i wanted to talk to my chosen ones about your friends and family that's riding with the opposition they cannot handle the honesty that comes through you from the universe they cannot handle it so i'm only like this right now because it's fucking hot this weather is all over the place and when I'm done with this, I'm taking my mini camping today. She hasn't been, this will be our first trip out going. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be nice. But as far as like the honesty and them not being able to like take what you are saying or the energy that you're giving, right? So what brought me to this case was today was it's like, When I'm engaging and interacting with people, I always do a reself process afterwards to see how I handled or managed my energy and then vice versa to see how the other being's energy was. But it's like the more I communicate outwardly to different people and to new beings, um, that's considered a new experience. You know, you don't always have to go travel across the world for it to be a new experience. For me, I can engage with somebody through this technology as a third party and that would be considered a new experience you know so i always take heed to that as well too but it's like now i had several new kind of interactions and engagements and i kind of discussed one of them before which kind of turned to another direction but some of these other entities are so set in their belief systems which is either everything is out in the open or this whole new my truth thing whatever the fuck that shit is you know i just take that and push that shit over with the witchy shit but um it's like even just having a regular communication and just being honest like you know how when you communicate with somebody or you see somebody and engaging with them it's always pre-thoughts that come through your space while you're processing them, whether it's you just seeing them or your first time opening up engagement or this may be your second and third time engagement. But you always have those thoughts or you know that, that come through your space when you first meet. So for me, I've already addressed a lot of mine so I don't need to keep running back through them, you know what I'm saying? But as far as like, when you first meet and have that first initial interaction, you should be figuring out the easiest way to get these hard questions out. Figure out the easiest way to get the hard questions out. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it's like communicating out really now with new people, I have to figure out for one, if you are trying to get in my personal space. And then for two, I have to figure out if this is just an engagement where you you are just, you know, learning. I'm reaching out because I want to learn or, you know, or, or some kind of learning exchange in between there. Because I'm always at a place where I'm learning and always can learn from other beings, you know. Other beings help me learn myself better. But get into that space to where you can ask and open up about those honest questions. So like, saving time for me is asking, hey, are you, you trying to get into my personal space or is this just like, you just trying to learn? Now when somebody shoot me that shit, I'm just trying to vibe. No, 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 no. That shit, that shit's not gonna work. Because I, I'm always vibing. I'm an energetic being. I'm a spiritual being having a human experience. So I'm always vibing. Unless I'm on to my next journey and then there's no vibration in my vessel. So that's that's the trickery. So you won't catch me with that. Oh, I just want to vibe and see how things go. No. That means I'm, I could be possibly wasting time. I don't want to waste my time. You cannot value your time. You can put your time in with... Ah. Oh. Yeah, put your put your shit in with the dog shit because they don't even value dog shit no more and that's fertilizer. That's crazy, right? They don't even value dog shit and that's natural fertilizer. I hit the trails and I see plastic bags with dog shit in it and it's like, y'all stupid as hell, like this fertilizer. 
You might as well just let that shit go and don't run in that space. Simple process, but your honesty and being able to be upfront and, and forward in what you're questioning. Now, whether somebody perceives it in a different manner, whether somebody perceives it in a different manner, that's on them. I'd be like, here you go, I got my fruits right here. This is my fruits, this is my perspective, this is why I'm coming at you with this angle right here. You may have had this approach before from other people that didn't show you their motherfucking fruits and now you're questioning my shit. That's cool, you can question it, but I'm gonna show you my fruits. It's not my job to make you believe me. It's just my job to show you my part. You know what I'm saying? Show you my fruits. Hey, hey, this is my tree right here. This is what I got right here. You fuck with it? I swap you some fruits. I got these fruits right here. I could swap you this joint over here, right here for that. You know what I'm saying? But that don't that don't be the case all the time. That's not always the case. So like I'll dive into one just because I know it's a huge one. Like I, I like I grew up in a household where my mom would wake up at like 5, 5.30 and spend two hours to four hours putting her face on and getting ready and all this other shit. I never understood it. But you have to understand as a young boy growing into a male growing up, you almost think that shit is normal. That somebody got to put a whole fucking face on before they go into the matrix. And see what I understand now and what they understood was this shit is a battlefield. That's why when they leave the house, they put their war makeup on, they put their manipulation makeup on. A lot of motherfuckers ain't using it for certain features. It's action and sexuality. So if if I'm communicating with you, you should already know that, hey, this is my fruit, I'm organic, I'ma address the artificial shit first. You can give me a million and one reasons, but I'm just, I'm going to address it. This is just my example. You can use whatever example you would like to use, but this is where the predominantly where most of my engagements have been coming from. So that's why I always ask the question. It's okay if you wanna keep that shit on and do it, but I'm gonna ask, is this you trying to get into my personal space or is this just learning? Because if it's you trying to get into my personal space, you should have took all that shit off before you even video chatted me or came into my physical space. You know what I'm saying? You should have already been working on, hey, I gotta remove this shit if I wanna get in that space over there. I'm not just gonna expect that motherfucker to accept this shit because the excuses I give him no that's not how this shit works that's not how it works and that's not how it should work you know what I'm saying but that question or communicating about those things outwardly it kind of offends that other entity because most people who are okay within themselves and just kind of like to splash that shit on here there you know it's like you won't get that same friction from them when you mention it I don't communicate with a lot of people and it's not the same friction when I mention that thing. And it's just me being honest, just trying to get to a space to where, okay, when you start valuing your time, you have to start being honest, you have to stop lying. You have to start doing all of these things, but you also have to put the value on yourself and you have to stay consistent. So if you somebody who just started putting value on yourself, motherfucker, just know that you're gonna have to ride at least a year or two before people start even acknowledging what you're putting on you, how you're carrying yourself and moving yourself. You know what I'm saying? You have to do that. It don't matter if somebody wanna be like, oh, I'm a dick, I don't give a fuck, bitch. I value my time. Simple process. If you wanna waste yours, that is completely fine, but you will not waste mine. I will be a dick and I will get out your way. And it's the same thing with guys. I'm trying to tell y'all, you have to be honest and upfront about everything because it's gonna make your process a lot easier. You would much rather have that fight with yourself be honest up front about some shit that you know is gonna probably twist them it's only twisting them if they're not flowing with the natural flow of the universe that's what we got to understand if people are getting worked up you know like the last video like these other entities they really do because you can see and feel the vibration of the other entity beside you when that shit start working itself up you know what I'm saying and you start feeling all kind of other pressure coming from this entity to defend itself and then to try to attack and then to try to fucking gaslight and revert this shit back around you know what I'm saying but being being mindful of this shit like and just understanding that this shit is constantly going on you know what I'm saying like that's why I always like to reiterate 
it is a motherfucking spiritual war going on out here. You know what I'm saying? So you got to keep yourself protected at all times. You got to be ready at all times. Half the time when you think you chilling and you good, that's when some random shit come your way. So you have to know how to portion it out. If you get an attack right away, sometimes they don't always come back to back to back. So when you get one and you know your process and your flow, you be like, okay, boom. They just hit me just now. I'm going to shake this off for about 20, 30 minutes. Now I'm going to have a little peaceful space before they send or I have to put myself in any situations or any more attacks coming at me. You know what I'm saying? It's always a time span. What happens is we just don't spend enough time diving into this space to understand it. You know what I'm saying? We'd rather just distract ourselves and go off into another space. But I realize like communicating outwardly and just being honest, like a lot of people naturally have been taught to juke and jive. You know what I'm saying? They've been taught that shit. So they're doing it naturally and not even understanding it. And then when they get to somebody who does understand the natural flow, that does know how to communicate above 98% of the goddamn population. That, that, that shit doesn't work with me. It, it won't work. And anybody else who understands communication and how to communicate, communication is fucking huge. It is huge. It's not just the verbal words. We all know, you know, you got your body language, your energetic feels. It's, it's a lot of things that go into place. And if you know how to play chess, and you can think a few moves ahead for yourself and then think a few moves ahead for that opponent and then you got other counter moves that you can kind of you can already you play the game up here first before you play it down there you play the game up here first before you play the game down here you know what I'm saying and whatever you think that they won't do just know that they will just know that they will and just know that your honesty and addressing things up front is always going to create friction for them you know what i'm saying if somebody addressed me honestly about some shit i'm not gonna get mad I'm, it may hit me like oh shit somebody just punched me but it was like oh nigga, that was an honest punch you ain't sneak me in the back you came around from the front you said a couple words to me before you even swung on me you know what i'm saying like ah, eh, that, that's part of warring you know what i'm saying but i wouldn't i wouldn't get offended by it and, and try to fucking belittle this person because they said some honest shit if anything i'd be like ah take that shit I'm like fuck you know what like, I'm gonna get back to you next week it's no different than when my co-host uh Blizzy he had made some smart ass comment about nigga that's why you don't even know how to screenshot from your phone you don't know how to screen record and I was just thinking to myself nigga you only saying this because I asked you and I haven't been doing it and you're my co-host and you should be doing your fucking part if I don't know something you should share the information with me but your dumb ass like to keep everything a secret which I already know that's how they move but he used it as a tactic and I was like, oh shit, I couldn't even get mad because I did it. And I said, you know what, motherfucker? I figured it out like I always do. And when he came back in the next week, because I think I had my daughter, so we didn't do any filming that week. But when he came back in the next week, I had a couple things already screen recorded. I already posted it up there. I didn't have to tell him. I showed him with my fruits. I, look, I, YouTube. Oh shit, I was just forgetting one step. Boom. Now I'm gonna do something with this new information to show you motherfucker and to prove to myself everything isn't to show motherfuckers a lot of shit is to prove it to myself when i prove it to myself that's more strength and encourage that i have for the future and taking on shit later on down the road because it's always going to be more battles i pull strength from my other situations i put myself in that's what i do but I ain't want to run up too long, you know what I'm saying? We got to get on this road. I'm sweating like a motherfucker out here. I don't know what the temperature is at this month. But it's going back and forth. It's rainy, snow, sleeting, hailing. It's fucking 100 degrees, 70 degrees, 20 degrees. It's like, you just got to be ready. The thing with me is, I'm used to change. I'm my most comfortable when I'm uncomfortable. Peace and love to the kings and queens.